Hey guys, this is another review by from Antonio here at uh, Review, General Product Review. Um, reviewing this phone holder here, car holder for the phones in the car. Um, it's a powered, it's electric, and it's by Moody, and I I kind of I like it. There's a couple of drawbacks. Uh, one, let me say this is first, it's electronic and it has a sensor on. So this way it'll open and close. It holds, uh, I have a Note 10 Plus, so I got the big boy phone, it's a pretty big phone. And it holds that very securely, I'm very happy with it. It mounts here to the dash to your vent, all right? And it has this little holder down here, support bracket, and clips, and gator clips up here. Now, this is, a, a, it actually holds it very well, very secure. I was very worried about it at first. How is this going to hold and, and be secure? Because these here tend to be pretty flimsy in cars, but I guess I looked out on my car. It's not really, my car is pretty, pretty sturdy on that. So I'm, I'm actually happy with the mounting process. It's fairly good. The, the And it holds it inside the clips here that's good so i'm happy with that it has a sensor there and then also there's a green button underneath here yeah can i show you there we go right there there's a green button up there if you press it it turns off your sensor and then you press it again and it turns on the sensor so you can open up the the tray there by either the sensor or there's buttons on either side. You can press either one of these and it'll open it up. So that's pretty cool. Now the downside. One, because of the fact that this is being mounted onto your dash, uh, onto your vent, I'm worried, very worried about wintertime, how this is going to affect the battery with hot air constantly being blown onto the back of the phone. Uh, that is an issue, you know, that could be an issue. It could degrade the battery, could make the get battery go bad, uh, thus prematurely needing to replace your phone. As you know, a Note S10 does not have a replaceable battery. You don't have access to it. So that's number one. That's a worry. Uh, although my wife did say to me very logically, hey, why don't you just close your vent, you know, so this way it's not blowing air out at you. Uh, that's true, but you also, you're, you're still going to have air coming through there. You can always close your vents. You're still going to have that ha hot air coming through. Now, luckily in, in the South towards Georgia here where we live, I don't have to worry about that as much as I did up North. So I just come out pre warm, you know, warm the car up in the morning, five minutes or whatever, even on the coldest mornings. And then I'll be fine. You know, it might get down in the dead of winter, we'll get down to the teens, but you know, you warm the car up, it's not that bad. Up north, it could be more prevalent. The other thing is with that air, same air issue uh, that I'm worried about is this is a wireless charger that charges my phone. So I'm worried about, I'm wondering how that is going to affect the internal components in here. So let's say we go ahead and warm the car up. All that hot air the whole time is blowing on the back of this. How is that going to affect that in the wintertime? I won't know yet. It's still uh, just the beginning of November. It has actually been very mild. So uh, don't really know the extent of that yet. And I, I probably won't for some time. So those are just a couple issues. The, the other thing. The one other issue that I have, well, I should say two other, but they they can go into one, is that this device does not come with a cigarette lighter charger. It just comes with your USB. So you have to have a USB or, you know, cigarette lighter or USB charger to plug into. Now, this is a quick charger. So if you just try to plug this into a regular USB port, you're not going to get the power and oomph that you need to to quick charge your phone. Your phone is going to be cutting out and charging, cutting out, charging, you know, and, and going through this continual cycle. I don't know what the stats are, but usually when you have a, a electronic device, 
flipping on, flipping off, flipping on, flipping off. That is a bad thing. As, you know, and I would assume that electronically, if you're charging and not charging, reconnect the charging, not charging. If this is a continual process, that could eventually be bad for the phone as well, your internal components. So I went and par purchased um, this by Hustle here, also found on Amazon. Um, it's a Qualcomm quick charge phone or quick charger. 3.0 all right it has two ports there the one thing i'm worried about this is that it does have microchips on the inside uh, but i'll leave this for another review so i have this uh, plug plugged into here like so and then i'll plug that into my dash and or into my cigarette lighter and uh, that's where you get that my should say shouldn't really say cigarette lighter but my power supply the one other concern that i have you know hondas uh chevys and maybe toyotas and probably most other vehicles you probably don't have to worry about this but i know ford and ergo lincoln there is an issue is that your power your cigarette power supply is constant on even when the car is off I don't personally like that for because um, you have a constant draw from your battery while the car is off. So you could not run your car for a week, come back out, and who knows with the energy that it draws, it may or may not be off depending on how good your battery is. I mean, you may or may not be able to start your car because your battery is dead depending on the the life of your battery and how much energy this thing draws just as a steady state, especially if you leave that sensor on, because this is continuously sending out uh, some type of beam, so this way it can sense motion right here. So that's that drawback, but like I said, that is car specific. Uh, so once again, I, I would recommend summing up, I do recommend this product. I do like this product. Um, personally, since I have a Lincoln, I just unplug it when I'm done driving for the day and, and set it set it there close to my gear shifter. And then I'll go back and plug it in when I step in the car and, and I'm on my way. Um, now, I have it right up to see if there's a way to make my plug, uh, plug follow the on-off switch of the car. I'm not going to go there. But uh, overall, this is a good product. So if you're thinking about buying one, I, ha I do recommend it. I believe that it's worth the money. I believe that it's worth the hassle of buying one of these uh, separately. Um, I'm not a believer of buying things separately. If this, if this uh, product manufacturer is listening to customer feedback, hey, bundle one of these into your offer. I think you sell a lot more. I think you would have a much better product. Um, you know, one other thing I would say is that wire management wise, if you really want to put together an offer, wire management wise, sell little clips that you could uh, glue. I wouldn't say glue, but it had sticky backs on where you could put it in the grooves of your dash of your molding. All right. So that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Please let me know if you got anything out of this. If it was useful, helpful, please hit that like button. Hit that um, useful. So this way Amazon and other customers will know, hey, it's worthwhile listening to this crazy guy. All right. Thanks again. Bye.